After completing the flybarless system setup, here we are going to look at the primary features of version 2.0 flight mode. Flight mode settings include roll rate, speed adjustment, elevator travel limit, aileron travel limit, swash dampening, swash acceleration, each of which we'll, we will go through in the following video clips. Entering the flight mode setting is easy. While the transmitter and helicopter are both powered up, push the rudder stick right or left and then press the set button on your 3GX to enter the setup mode. You can use the status LED to determine flight mode settings. One flash is equivalent to roll rate adjustment. Two flashes, elevator travel limit. Three flashes, aileron travel limit. Four flashes means swash plate dampening. And five flashes means acceleration settings. During setting process, LED1 to LED5 indicate the rate of setting. Flashing LED represents 10%, while flashing lit LED represents 20%. For example, if LED1 and LED2 are steadily lit with LED3 flashing, the set rate is 2 times 20 plus 10, which is equal to 50%. The first thing we're going to adjust here is roll rate. Aileron and elevator roll rates are adjusted independently. Move the aileron stick to adjust the aileron roll rate. The more LEDs that light up, the faster the roll rate is. When elevator stick is moved, the setup will now be on elevator roll rate. The more LEDs, the faster the roll rate. But here, the 3GX will automatically adjust the elevator roll rate to be within 20% of aileron roll rate, which means the two settings will not differ by more than one LED. After completion, press the set button to enter the next setting, elevator limit. While adjusting elevator travel limit, swash plate will automatically deviate 8 degrees plus the preset value. You can move the elevator stick to increase or decrease the travel limit as needed. The pitch degree can also be estimated with LED. For example, LED shows 50% total travel limit is approximately 8 degrees plus 50% of 8 degrees which equals to 12 degrees. After completing elevator travel limit settings, press set to enter the next setting, aileron travel limit. Here the setup method is similar to elevator. Swash plate will automatically deviate 8 degrees plus the preset value. You can move the aileron stick to increase or decrease the travel limit as needed. Generally speaking, around 50 to 70% are suitable for most helicopters. After completing aileron travel limit settings, press the set button to enter the next setting, swash plate dampener. Moving the aileron stick to adjust elevator and aileron dampening. The more LEDs means higher dampening. Moving the elevator stick will adjust dampening on collective pitch. More LEDs means higher dampening. Higher dampening will result in smoother and non-direct reaction, so adjust based on your personal preferences. When finished, press the set button to enter swash plate acceleration setting. Similar to swash dampening, aileron stick is used for elevator aileron acceleration adjustment.
More LEDs means higher acceleration. This value is set to zero at the factory because the more acceleration is added, the faster the initial start of the maneuver. The stationary effective hover may be reduced as a result. Beginners and F3C pilots should set cycle acceleration to zero for simplicity. On the other hand, moving the elevator stick will adjust the acceleration for collective pitch. A side effect of this acceleration setting is increased servo power consumption. Therefore, the BEC capacity should be double checked to ensure it can handle the burst current. Acceleration settings higher than 50% is recommended only when you are using direct power source. Finally, press the set button to complete the flight mode settings.